I do think, oh, here it comes. Oh, no. I'm worried about what you're going to say. I do think the Cougars, <laughs> I do think not the Cougars of Houston, but the Cougars of BYU will make a case. They will make a case. Yes, I got that. As long as you didn't case. say above, above, we would have closed the episode. No. <laughs> it, I, I think Kalani Sataki pulls it together. And they're a good, I am just excited to have Utah and BYU. Look, let's, let's be very clear here. Everybody, everybody, let's all gather in real, real close. Utah has dominated BYU in history, has dominated BYU in the history of this series. Well, let's get even closer. Utah has dominated BYU in the last decade. The last 10 years have not been close. Utah owns this rivalry. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you can't put you can't put BYU above Utah when you look at the head to head in the last decade or so. So I want to put that out there. But I, I do think BYU can make a case to be good to be good in the Big 12. Well, and first of all, I absolutely agree with that. I think there's definitely a world they can get boosted overall. And one thing we can talk about as well is Drake. I'm just excited that this rivalry, I think, is going to get more Bingo. attention than it's always Bingo. deserved. It gets, everyone in Utah always gets excited, right? Like I'm newer to the 100%. rivalry um, since going to Utah. There's only been yeah. a couple of rivalry games that I've been able to experience as part of. So I, but the hype here has always been good. But the national hype, like ESPN just never, like ESPN would broadcast it. They didn't really care. Uh, like it wasn't yeah. that big of a deal. And look, once if it goes into rivalry week, it will get swept up a little bit in the Auburn, um, the Iron Bowl, of course, the game, Ohio State, Michigan, some of those. But I do think it's going to get a lot more attention. I think especially because some of these finishes have been a lot of fun. You had a couple years ago with uh, Jason Shelley, a high school, uh, Texas high school football legend as well, yeah. uh, led a crazy comeback against the Cougars. Like if that's in rivalry weekend, I think that gets a little bit more hype nationally right. versus it seems like only people in Utah know about that. So I think this rivalry in general is, in general is going to be a great boost for the Big 12's brand too. 100%. This is this one of the top 10, top 15 rivalries in college football. I really believe that. And it is the the premier rivalry in the Big 12. If not, sorry God, the only rivalry in the Big 12. And I know I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's Baylor TCU and there's Farmageddon and Arizona, Arizona State. Nope. Let me be very clear. Nobody cares. Nationally, nobody cares. When you ask somebody, name a top 15 rivalries in college football, none of those come up. Kick the Sunflower Showdown? <laughs> That's a terrible name for a rivalry. I didn't know that was the name of the rivalry. To Kansas, Kansas State it is terrible. Um, this is the only rivalry in the Big 12 right now that, it, that gets national recognition. The others, maybe they hate each other, but at the end of the day, nobody really cares. Yeah, and I compare the ones you were talking about to what the Pac-12 tried to make Utah and Colorado into for so long, which was never a rivalry. It's a joke, it's never anything, uh, it's a between joke. the fan bases overall. And it's just going to be fascinating to see how th this whole situation works out with Utah to the Big 12, the four corner schools, all the other additions to the Big 12 and in general. I am, now that we are officially on to this chapter, it's something I'm really excited about, all these new opponents and everything that it's going to lead to. Um, as the host of Locked On Big 12, I am curious, what is your thoughts on everything? So... <sighs> Look at this. I, I'm going to say it. BYU fans have made us all think that BYU is the biggest brand in the state of Utah. Uh -huh. And the reason BYU is the bigger brand nationally is because Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, yeah. they are the Army Navy of religious schools. When That's BYU plays in Houston, they pack out the stadium because they send so many missionaries across the country. And it's not like that's not in jest either. I I, there, I have an affinity for 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 schools that have history, a commitment to faith. I mean, that that's great. I went to Baylor. So mm -hmm. you've got a massive fan base and the fat you are the flagship school, the fastest growing religion in the world. So you get the brand from that. OK, mm -hmm. football wise, let me rattle off something. Utah. Top 25 at all time win percentage. Top 25 in wins in the last 100 years, last 50 years, last 25 years, last 10 years. Win percentage last five years are number 13 in the country. Top 15 team in game grades over the last 10 years. So that kind of gives you a metric on consistency dating back to 2013. All of that, JT, boils down to the word good. <laughs> That's the dominant football program in the state of Utah. So mm -hmm. BYU can claim the brand. Utah's got the Utah has a a historic football program that we overlook because BYU screams in your face. And I love BYU fans. I like the silent majority of Utah fans. <laughs> I really have I have an appreciation for both. But let's be clear with what that rivalry is, what it brings to the Big 12, and what Utah is. Utah is the football powerhouse. Look at the all-time was like 62 to 35 against BYU. Yeah, Look yeah. at that. 
and know that Utah is going to be just fine in the Big 12. Drake, I'm very curious how Utah fans are going to react to this episode because if if by some miracle they made it to the end of the first segment in which you were poo-pooing Utah, mm-hmm. I hope they made it through your first part of that, which you were taking mm-hmm. down Utah, and then proceeded to profusely praise them after talking about BYU. So I'm hoping they made it through because I, I think though I think the majority of them will like you. But Drake, I, I can't lie to you. You might still get a couple of those fans coming at you after something. They're gonna love me and yeah. they're gonna hate me, but no matter what, they watched. That's all I need. That's true. That is absolutely true. Drake, we greatly appreciate you joining us. And if people are excited about the Big 12 and want to learn more about these teams in 2023, of course, where should they head over and listen to? Well, you can block me at Drake Seatoll or you can follow me at LO Big 12. A lot of content at LO Big 12 or on the Locked On Big 12 podcast, wherever you get your podcast or on YouTube as well. Go find us on YouTube. It's usually a lot of engaging guests such as yourself, JT. A lot of fun stuff going on over there. Drake, it was great having you on. Thank you for joining us. Uh, absolutely jt anytime all righty that's gonna do it for today's edition of lockdown use we'll be back tomorrow talking season predictions and diving into more things utah football related